Hi everyone, it's Nicole and I'm here with another layout that I made at the crop that I went to back in April. I ended up completing 21 layouts and this is layout number 11. So after this we'll have 10 more before we start getting sort of like maybe some fresh new layouts and also that it's going to be in my scrap room with my usual um, background and stuff. But this uh, page kit was a lot of yellows and browns and I found uh, this picture of my daughter and it was her maid of honor. It's her best friend. They've been best friends since they were in grade nine. And about a week before my daughter's wedding, um, her best friend does a lot of uh, biking, um, mountain biking, and she was coming down this hill and I don't know if her wheel twisted or if she hit something, but she flipped her bike right over and ended up breaking her left arm. So in every photo that you see her in, she's got her left arm kind of like tucked in, in behind someone because it's in a cast. So in this layout, I'm going to talk, um, you know, a little bit about their friendship, but also the fact that, you know, a few days before my daughter's wedding, she, you know, Jenna ended up breaking her arm. Now, again, this is a page kit that when I put it together, it ended up being a ton of scraps. And I've mentioned this so many times before, but scrapping with scraps is probably one of my favorite ways to put a page together because you look at what you have and you start uh, using it in the size that it's in or you know just cut off a little bit and then um, start adding stuff to your layout in this specific page kit i ended up you know with quite a bit of scrap paper so it's going to take me a little bit of time to decide you know which ones i'm going to use in the size that it is which ones you know which one i'm going to use to mat my photo i ended up using this dark yellow and the reason I chose that one is um, it did have some little yellow triangles, but if I, you know, ended up putting the mat really closely to the photo and you can't even tell, uh, it just looks like a solid yellow. Then I did take that um, no, vertical stripe pattern paper. I ended up cutting two strips on a diagonal and I put it so that it's kind of, offset each other so at the top part of the layout the small part of that strip is going to be at the top left going to bigger and then the reverse of that is at the bottom and I like doing that it kind of frames your layout and it kind of gives a um, a different feel to your um, layout because it's not like a one inch strip all the way across, it kind of goes down to a smaller strip. I find it gives it a little bit of movement to the layout and the fact that the strip at the top of the layout is the opposite, it really frames the layout. Now that I've kind of decided how my pattern papers are gonna go, then I start rifling through all the embellishments that I had put with this page kit and I start dividing it into um, embellishment clusters. So one of the first things I look at, I look at, at which embellishments I can use as my embellishment foundation. In this case, it was a frame that I end up cutting in half and I'm gonna use it on another part of the layout. And then I had these viewfinders that was a part of a big sheet of pattern paper and ended up cutting um, two or three of yellow ones and then ended up putting it in this kit and I love using those viewfinders as part of an embellishment foundation. It really grounds the embellishment and it gives me a great place to put the, the rest of the embellishments. 
I ended up taking a dark brown distress ink and I'm going to ink the edges of all the pattern papers and all the embellishments. Now sometimes the way I do it, I just take out my um, foam and uh, my Tim Holtz tool, distress tool, and I end up distressing everything all at once. And then some other times, I just distress one piece at a time and I glue it down as soon as you know I have it inked up. So I guess it all depends on how I'm feeling. Sometimes I'm like, you know what, I just wanna take this tool out once and do the edges of all the pattern papers and all the embellishments. And sometimes I'm not sure if I wanna ink the edges of everything. So then I just ink the edges as I'm putting it down on the layout. Okay, so while I'm putting the rest of the embellishments together, I just thought I'd let you know a little bit about what's you know been happening um, around here. So last week I ended up working Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Friday was overnight. Saturday, my husband and I ended up um, we just had a few things that we had to get, you know, for groceries and that kind of stuff. And then in our city, they had, um, it's called Rib Fest, and it's like a rib festival. And there's um, people that set up, I mean, they go all across Canada. I don't know about the states, but I know they go right across Canada and they have a weekend for each of the cities and they have entertainment, there's music, there is places where people, you know, once you buy your ribs, you can go sit down and eat your ribs. And one of the booths, I guess, or restaurant that you could, there you could get a blooming onion. So we got one of those and we got some ribs. And like I said, we just stood there and we listened to music. We, we didn't stay there too, too long, about three hours, but it was beautiful. It was so nice outside. And we went with my daughter, her friend and my daughter's husband. And we just had, you know, so much fun. So I took a few pictures of that. So you'll probably see a layout pretty soon, you know, concerning that outing that we did then on sunday what did we do sunday actually no we didn't do groceries on saturday saturday we just went to michael's and um, a hardware store and then sunday we went and did our grocery because we didn't want our groceries to sit in our vehicle while we were at the uh, rib fest and that's pretty much all we did on sunday we came back home and just kind of relaxed and today is Monday and I am off till July 7th and so now we're getting ready to go for our camping weekend with most of our kids and Mason is coming too. So just looking forward to the summer and hopefully some nice hot weather. We really haven't had any nice weather um, so hopefully it's going to start we've had a few days here and there but you know we'll get one day of nice weather and then it'll rain for two or three days so I'm hoping that July is going to be a little better and so back to this layout one of the things I love to use frames for is uh, you know I cut them in half and I end up using them as part of my embellishment foundation. I just find that it adds so much interest to that cluster. So I got that viewfinder underneath. I've put that frame just over top. And then I took another circle that says love and I put that over top of that. And I just find that the more that you tuck in and in behind, it really uh, fills up your clusters and if you saw quickly there I had two other clusters and that's what I did too I just used some of the frames and then some of the viewfinders and then added a few circles and then some enamel dots some enamel hearts and it just adds so much to that cluster then I ended up adding three enamel dots where I am putting my title. So at the top I put BFF and then at the bottom left I put forever. 
And that's it. That's going to complete this layout. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit subscribe. If you're enjoying these videos, if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. And I want to thank you so much for watching. Bye.